So uh, the only reason why I'm doing this season finale is because 50 Cent got me back to watching this freaking show. <laughs> that man dragged Lala and her sponsor <laughs> for like almost like half a week, right? He dragged them for Phil, I had to get Court back up for this show because I knew they wouldn't talk about it at the reunion because they had already filmed it. But I was just like, I'm interested now. I'm back to being interested. So we will talk about that later. Let's talk about this season finale. Uh, so the season finale, which was very lackluster, was basically just Jax and Brittany and their engagement party, which was like really uber expensive or whatever. This is what I want to say about this. The whole cast. Like at this point, all of them have houses now, right? So my thing is, are they going to continue to play poor next season? Because no way you have a whole freaking house in LA and you're a waiter. So I'm just like, are we going to like talk real now next season? Because how are we going to explain their houses? It was realistic when they were in apartments, but now they have houses. All of them. All of them have houses. Now, if the Toms had houses, I would be like, okay, well, maybe we can work it like this show was making a lot of money and they're just getting a big kickback or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, if that happened, okay. Kristen has a house. Um, Tom and Katie just bought a house. Tom, the S Sandoval just got a house. Who is another one that uh, just bought a house? Stassi is probably next to buy a house with Bo. Like, they're all buying houses. And I'm like, guys, we can't play poor next season. We really have to tell the truth at this point because how are y'all going to rectify y'all over here serving goat cheese balls every now and again and you got a whole freaking mortgage? Something ain't adding up. Something ain't adding up. So maybe we have to go behind the curtain next season. Oh, I feel sorry for the people who actually believe this show because I feel like y'all going to get disappointed. <laughs> it's all for TV, which is the only reason why I have you know, I had peace about reviewing these shows because I know that they're just playing it up for the cameras. This isn't their real lives. So I can drag you and not feel some sort of way because I just know that you just, you know, putting on a show. Anyway, Jackson Brittany's engagement is supposed to cost all of this money or whatever. And Jackson's like, oh my goodness, this is just like a wedding. I'm not dragging it because to be quite honest with you, my engagement party, oh, it's going to be a mess in a good way. Like I'm going to spend a nice coin on my engagement party. First of all, my dress is going to be redonkulous, okay? Be dazzled, glitter, charms, everything. I am going to look like I was carved out of a diamond. Okay, and that's just the engagement party, okay? I'm probably gonna have like 50 or so people because I have a lot of people who have helped me get to this point in my life. There are a lot of people who have ushered me from different seasons of my life to become the woman that I will be when I marry my king. So it's going to be an extravaganza, so I can't sit up here and drag people for putting this much money into an engagement party because I plan on doing the same exact thing. Yeah, it's going to be a celebration. Priyanka and Nick Jonas, watch out, baby, because here I come. And also, concerning Jackson and Brittany, I don't care anymore because I've seen clips of the reunion and it seems like Brittany is just as awful as the man that she's about to marry. And I'm just checked out at this point. Because if you guys remember, I felt so bad when Brittany was first introduced to this show. I felt bad for how he treated her. I felt like he was this older guy taking advantage of this young naive girl but from watching this show more and just kept and just and just watching Britney's progress on the season I realized this is what she wanted you know I guarantee you that Britney would not be with Jack if he wasn't on a tv show with Jack she gets the perks of being this like d-list celebrity and being a d-list celebrity is better than being no celebrity you know what I mean? She could go back to just being some regular girl from Kentucky. She didn't want that. She met this guy. She hopped in his DMs on Instagram, probably did some freaky stuff to get his attention. They started messing around and she found her in. She found her into the spotlight. This is what she wants. She wants to be on TV. She wants to have everybody on Twitter and on Instagram saying how much that they love her and are so happy for her. You know, she wants that. You know what I mean? She wants to be invited to all these parties and go to all these events and, you know, have people talking about her in People Magazine and Us Magazine. This is what she wants. And if she didn't have Jax, she wouldn't have that. So for me, in my opinion, at this point, I'm just like, they're two peas in a pod. Like, she knows exactly what she's doing. She's never going to leave that guy no matter what he does because she knows if she breaks up with him, there goes her position on this hit reality TV show. And there goes the perks of the life that she has 
with him. So at this point, I'm taking my hands off of it and I'm just like, you know what? Y'all in this together. You're just as awful as him. The reunion confirms it and I'm done. Live your best life, girl, because no matter what he does, she's going to stay and he knows that. He knows he can do whatever he wants to her and she will stay because she will not have this life without him. Her mother knows that. Her poor father is just like, regardless of what this dude thinks that he can do for my daughter, I want my daughter to be with somebody who loves her. The father knows. That cousin from last week that kept on making them facial reactions when Jax is talking about how awful he is. Like the, the whole family knows, but Brittany is going to do what Brittany wants to do because she wants this life. She wants to be there. She wants to be in that situation. Who want me to judge? So let's talk about Sheena and Adam. Sheena, sis, listen, I feel like we all, the viewers, we all want better for you, but sis, you have to want better for yourself because I don't know how you cannot see that this dude is just banging you for camera time. Like Adam is trying to find an end to this show, an end where he could become a main cast member like everybody else. He couldn't really find anybody to date because everybody else, all the other women on the show are in relationships. So who's free and available and who will bite? Sheena. And she took the bait because he only deals with her just enough to keep her interested. So he'll sleep with her to make her think that he's interested in being with her. And then as soon as she wants to be in a relationship with him, he's like, oh, I'm not ready. Because I'm telling you, as soon as Adam becomes a main cast member, he is not going to be bothered with Sheena anymore. He might keep it going with her just a little bit, just to keep the drama up. But we're going to see a totally different side of Adam. Because from what I see of Adam, I feel like just like everybody else in the show, he came out here to be an actor. It didn't work out. So let me do reality TV. And then... If you got enough people that like you or want to see you and stuff, you can turn reality TV into legit acting work. Like there are people who have done that. He's probably like trying to get a Cardi B moment. You know what I mean? Like she went on reality TV and then just blew up. So maybe this is what Adam is doing. This is the work he's putting in banging Sheena. It's just so sad that she can't see it. I really hope that she's in on the game. I just want her to be in on this scam, but I don't think she is because Sheena is that girl. She is literally that marriage girl. She is literally that girl that wants to have kids. And I know she's said that she wasn't but since you are we've seen you that that is who you are can we talk about her body count listen this is LA I ain't shaming nobody's body count but I just feel like you just don't need to go on TV and tell the world that you bang like she was naming, she was naming leagues you know what I mean like baseball football I was like girl we don't need to know all your business <laughs> like you smashed teams teams Listen, live your best life, but whoo, you better get Shay back because I don't know no man. <laughs> girl, let me move on. Talk about Adam and his double standard. Like, I know he playing the girl, right? But I'm just like, dude, if you're going to play her, be realistic. Like, be realistic. You are sleeping with her, but you're not in a relationship. So she can't sleep with anybody else. She can only sleep with you, but you don't want to claim her as your girl. You don't want to do girlfriend things. You just want to sleep with her. So she's just a friend with benefits or like a drive by. Like, what is it? Is she friends with benefits? Is she a booty call? Is she your girlfriend? Like, what is it? Like, you get mad at her for going out with this dude who, let me tell you something, stay mad. Because that guy that she went out with, listen, that young gunner was fine. If he moisturizes and keeps his skin up and, you know, really sticks with his eating habits or whatever he's doing with his body, if he can keep that up and maintain this moisturized baby, put on some sunscreen at 36 that boy is going to be sickening. If he keeps up with his looks, woo, LA is going to have hell to pay. If he is 36, still fine and out here, he going to mess some streets up. You better go to New York City. We can do some damage. Looking like that at 36, oh, child, you'll shut the city down. You know who he looks like? He looks like, um, did I just quicken it over a hot guy? Forgive me, Lord. Woo time for a man um but you know who he looks like he looks like um he looks like steve gold from million dollar listings uh new york like he's steve oh goodness he's so fine but the guy gives me steve gold just not weird like steve is fine but his weirdness takes away from that fineness like i, I originally started watching the show because of him but his confessionals send me like it's do y'all know what I'm talking about? It's something about him where it's just like the dude in the pictures does not match the dude 
on TV. It's just weird. Like he just does some stuff where I'm like, you all right? <laughs> Y'all have to see that. Yeah, I can't be the only one who sees it. Like my, I was talking to my girlfriend about him because Steve Gold is like her type of guy, right? And so I was just like, oh my, I got a new guy that I think you'd be interested in. And she was like, he's weird. <laughs> And for her to say that, she's hit, like, Steve is her ideal guy. For her to say that he was weird, I was like, I'm glad you said it because I saw it. And I ain't want to, you know, like, X a man out that could be your husband. But he gives me, he's, he's off. There's something off about him. I don't know what it is, but he's fine. And his Instagram, woo! I'll be on Instagram like, yes, daddy. Don't do no videos because the weirdness is going to throw me off again. So let's get back to unrealistic Adam. Can we talk about that Oscar winning performance that he gave? I said, oh, baby, stick to reality TV. Please don't try to um, get into acting because I just don't see it. I don't see it. Like, don't touch me. Can I just walk away? Can I leave, please? If I would have did that, like he was trying to have a moment and I'm like, you doing the most. You doing too much. It, you're not emoting enough. Maybe you need another Stellar Adler or another Meisner class because I'm not believing this performance. Sheena, Sheena, I believe. And I feel bad because I'm like, sis, you can't see this scam. Please tell me you're in on the scam. Please tell me that you are getting what you need to get from this dude too. And you're not getting involved emotionally, but it's Sheena, so I think she is. I'm just like, oh girl, just bang him and collect your check. Don't get involved with this dude. Don't let your heart get all wrapped up in Adam because we can clearly see that he is just begging you to stay on this TV show, just like Bo. Let me tell you something. No shade, Bo. Do what you got to do to make it out here in Hollywood. I'm not shading nobody's game or nobody's come up. Listen, the road, the straight and narrow road is not for everybody. Some people like to do whatever they can do so they can get to the top fast. I'm not judging. All I'm saying is, I think that just like Britney, if Stassi didn't have a TV show, Bo wouldn't stick around. I think that he enjoys the guys of this show and just being on TV more than he does being with Stassi. And I think that he wouldn't take all the stuff that she's giving him if she didn't have a TV show attached to her name. Because Bo was doing the work. Bo got confessionals now. He's in almost every scene. I'm like, okay, Bo. Secure the bag. Women do it all the time. Why can't men? Let's talk about Ariana, who was just being real ridiculous. And I'm like, you about to mess up your man's check. What is your problem with Lisa? She's been dragging them boys since she hired them. Like, this is a TV show. This is what they do. You can't be coming at your husband's boss when he owns like 2% of the business. Like, if he if it's 50-50, then I understand you saying, oh, I don't like how she talks to him. I don't like how she treats him. I get it right? But they don't even hold a large stake. Yes, their names are on it, but that don't mean nothing. That, I'm telling you, on paper, Lisa can take her percentage that she owns of the company, of the restaurant, and then get her partners and rally up against time and time and get them off the deed to that place. Get them out of the contract. Get them out of everything concerning Tom Tom. Still keep the name, still own everything, and still make coins. She's doing them a favor for a spinoff TV show. Listen, Lisa don't do nothing for free. The girl is smart. That's why she got all that money. So be wise, sis. Shut your mouth. You just got that house. Y'all need to be on this show for a couple more years so that you can pay off this house because let's be real, y'all don't, y'all making some money on this show. But y'all not making a $1.2 million. Like y'all need a couple more seasons to pay that off. Like, let's tell the truth and shame the devil. Lisa can pull that. Y'all can't. So just don't talk your man out of a check. You know what I mean? Like, don't, don't, don't mess it up for him. He's doing well right now. Shut up. Let Lisa say what she going to say. Because Tom ain't said nothing. Sandoval was sitting there while Ariana was saying all that stuff. And he was just like, yeah, well, she, yeah, it's not nice. But he still ain't say nothing to Lisa because he need that money. Stay woke, girl, and shut up. Also, I find it odd how James has to walk a fine line on this show and nobody else has to. Like, I can't believe that I'm here with James. When he was on the show, he got on my nerves, but I loved him because he was messy. You know, he gave us drama all the time. Him and Kristen were a hoot, okay? What I'm not liking is that all of a sudden the cast is turning against him. They don't want to film with him. 
They're messing up the dude's season. He's just having breakdowns every which way. Lisa got on my bad side when she sided with Katie and tried to do this whole Me Too movement thing. And I'm like, please don't put Me Too in this mess, on this show. I don't want to hear nothing about the Me Too movement on this show because you ladies are a mess. Okay. What the women on this show consistently do, and it bothers me so much, is they just misuse women's rights consistently to excuse their horrible behavior towards men. And I hate it. I just don't like how they misuse the plight of women, the, the struggles that we have to deal with, and the movements that we are using to fight our struggles so that we can have a better life for ourselves, you know what I mean? There are real people on the front lines doing the work while you sit up on this show and you throw out those movements so that you can scare people and manipulate them into doing what you want to do. Katie, if you would have shut your mouth, James would have never called you fat. Listen, it's a war. It was a war of words at that point. At that point, When you're in an argument, all bets are off. You say what you want so you can cut the other person so they can shut the hell up and so you can win this argument. That's just how it is, right? James comes out, you're saying nasty things about him. He shoots back at you and all of a sudden, Me Too movement, I don't want him here. So he's losing out on the check. You don't even want to do the ladies night. Even Lisa asked you about it and you're just like, well, I don't really have the capacity to deal with it. You were just doing, you didn't care nothing about women. You didn't care nothing about the Me Too movement. You literally used your sex to manipulate your employer to do some event for women that you never really cared about only so you can harm this dude. Like, are you kidding me, girl? Like, I just can't ride with it. And I don't like the fact that Lisa is supposed to be the savvy businesswoman fell for that. And I get that she was maybe scared because Katie was using like the Me Too movement. I totally understand that. But it's just like, how much does this dude have to atone for? Because I don't think that James is doing anything more than what Jax has done and what half of these people have done on the show with all of these cast members. They're all awful. We let Sandoval and Schwartz get away with stuff because they're just kind. You know what I mean? They're so sweet. You can't stay mad at them for very long, but they've all been extremely awful to each other, to other people. They have not been kind. They have not been the best. They have messed up royally and they're still getting these privileges. So why can't James? Why can't James play at um, sir, why does he all, all of a sudden have to be sober and nobody else has to be sober? Like, I get that the boy has a drinking problem and he does need to have help with that. But for Lisa to just be like, oh, you, you've had a drink, you can't do this. And I'm just like, girl, where's that at in the like book, like in the, in the employee handbook? Like, I just, I don't know. It's just very obvious that they are ostracizing him and I don't like it because I don't think he's done anything more than everybody else on this show. You know what I mean? Like James has to be sober. He can't have a drink, but Jax and all of the rest of them can be coked out and filmed the entire season. Let's talk about how when Jax was snapping out them seasons prior, homeboy was on something more than alcohol. Okay, we could all see it. We could all see it. Okay? So I just don't like that James has to be blameless. I don't think it's fair. I don't like how Lala is able to just cuss everybody out. I don't like how she treats Raquel. But at the end of the day, Raquel, you gotta grow up, sis. You got to get a backbone. You cannot let these people talk to you like this. Now, Raquel is now going to be a main cast member at Sir because she just got hired there. So she got hired to work at Sir. So now this is going to be her storyline for the show. So maybe, maybe Raquel was acting nice and sweet because she didn't really solidify her spot in the show. So maybe we're going to see another side of Raquel. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, so this episode ends with Brittany's father just thanking Lisa for being a guide for her and basically saying, thank you for helping out my child. Do you know what I mean? Like, at the end of the day, Lisa put this kid on a TV show and she didn't have anything. And now she has all of this, but it comes with a price. But still, he's saying thank you for looking out for her, but he's also heartbroken because he can't, he doesn't really trust the dude that she's about to marry. It is what it is, Dad. She wants a spinoff. She wants this lifestyle. That little Southern baby has moved out here and she has drank this L.A. Kool-Aid. She is gone. Keep her in your prayers. That was the end of Vanderpump Rules. That was the season finale. And I did my best to talk about a very lackluster season, a very lackluster season finale. And I said the same thing about the Housewife shows. I just feel like we need fresh meat at this point. Everybody now is making a certain amount of coin. And they realize doing this gets us this so they're not doing any more they're not doing any less it's just like they're going to do the bare minimum to keep their check and i just 
I don't know. I'd rather see more of Raquel. I'd rather see more of Adam. I'd rather see new people who are hungry and will give us a show. Everybody else is like, how many times can we see them sleep with each other and go to Mexico and get drunk? And it's, I don't know. I feel like the older they get, the more it's just like, yeah, you got to do something else. You know what I mean? Like, I can take it if they're like 27. You know what I mean? But, you know, Jax is 40. It's like, you can't. I'm tired. I'm tired of this. Like, I need, we just need fresh meat on this show. We need to mix it up. We need maybe get some OGs with some younger people. I would like to see some more diversity on this show if that's ever possible. Y'all know I want some East Coast chicks on this show. Listen, if you don't want to mix this show up racially, let's mix it up by the coast. We need some East Coast chicks on this show. I told y'all, if y'all not going to give us a sister, give us a white girl from Queens, please. Somebody who will take these broads on. Give us a cast of the Jersey Shore. We need a JWoww on this show because... Every season, we just have these girls who just bulldoze every situation and they use this horrible version of this, th their awkward understanding of feminism to make their points and nobody says anything because they're just loud and it's a bunch of them and they link up and I'm like, I can't watch another season of that. Y'all saw, I was in and out. I was in and out because I'm like, oh, here we go again. It's like the same thing over and over and over again and at this point, it's just stale. It's dry. We're done. Like, look how lackluster this season was without James. Like, there was a lot of stuff that he wasn't able to go to. So there was a lot less drama this season. And, you know, let's tell the truth and shame the devil. James is drama. James is drama. And we could not, we didn't get any of that drama because the cast doesn't want to film with him. So we spent an entire season finale talking about Jax and Britney's engagement party. Womp womp. Mix it up, Andy. You got to come back with some heat in 2020 because your 2019 so far has been hella dry. The only people, in my opinion, of all these Bravo shows that have been giving it, it's the Real Housewives of New York. They have been giving it. Potomac, I'm hoping they're going to give it. I was watching Married to Medicine LA. I couldn't really get into it because I felt like they were doing the most. I will start watching Married to Medicine though. Those original cast members, when they were introducing us to Mary to Medicine LA, hilarious, hilarious. I was just like, I like these ladies. Uh, Mary to Medicine LA, I'm not quite sure about them yet. Jewelry's still out. If they come back next season, I may check it out. But so far, Bravo has not been giving it to me. This is how bad Bravo has been for me. I've been watching MTV shows. I've been aged out of MTV, right? But I'm over here watching Lindsay Lohan Beach Club get in my life. Like, come on, Bravo. This is where I live. What are y'all doing? Anyway, what did you guys think about this season? What did you guys think about this season finale? What did you guys think about what I said in this video? Let us just know in the comment section below. And if you like what you see here, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you in another video for something else. Click that notification button. I told you, I might not be on schedule, but I'll give you something worth your time. Love you much. Bye.